What's up, Tani? Josh, Relaxio, how are you guys doing? Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. I appreciate it very much. And if you don't like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Do something for me at least. Because YouTube really don't care. Of course I'd rather you guys hit the thumbs up than the thumbs down. Uh, considering I almost just died. Not really. So we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Lots of changes going on here in the fish room. So I like to just bring you guys along. I got lots of videos. I've been editing so don't worry. Um, if you're sick of these live streams. I promise you I'll have some cool video content also coming up for you guys. Um, just make sure that you have your notification on. I've already edited probably six, seven videos. Um, so I got some cool fish room tours and different, different stuff like that coming up for you all. So I do like to pop in here though um, and just give you guys some updates and when things uh, kind of go uh, haywire in the fish room, I like to bring you guys along with that as well. So yeah, hope everybody had a great weekend and having a good Monday. So I'm just kind of going through and doing some cleanup here in the fish room, part of the fish room. But I'll show you guys all that here in a second. If you guys have any questions for me at all, feel free to go ahead and put it in the chat. Just bear with me for a minute or two. I like to give it a couple of minutes um, before I start so I don't have to like repeat myself. So. Looks like we have nine watching. So yeah. Oh man. So I could sit here and talk to myself, but yeah, I love it if you guys have any questions at all for me. Um, sorry, just bear with me. I can't apparently multitask. And uh, that beeping, you guys, nothing I can do about that. Uh, I've had some feedback on that. And just so you guys know, you're only pointing out the obvious, so no disrespect to you guys. So anybody leaving comments about, you know, hearing hearing those sounds come in, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just flaws of the app. So every time I'm touching the screen, you're probably hearing, I'm not hearing it on my end, but you guys are probably hearing that tapping. All I can advise you to do is to turn the volume down. So um, with that being said, Let's see here. Joel, hello. Is there anything I could do to help? Are you okay? Wait, you almost died. What's cracking and lacking? Nobody said anything, laugh out loud. No, I know, Tawny. People have said stuff in the comments, though. 
So I get a kick out of it. I mean, oftentimes those are rhetorical um, when I see feedback like that because you're only pointing out the obvious. So I try to be as professional and respectful as possible when I give feedback back, but just know that if you're pointing out the obvious to me, there's not too much I can do about it. Um, you know, I always get flack as far as the video quality doesn't look the greatest. Sorry, if you want to spend 130 bucks a month for me to get me better internet, then feel free to go ahead and I'll send you the bill. So with that being said, it is what it is. Um, all I can do is try to provide you the best video that I can. Again, it's showing good connection on my end. Um, I'm literally right on top of the router. Like right now, it's now showing poor connection. But um, it's okay, Sarge. Hello, all. Yep. Ground fault circuit interrupter. So, Terry, hello, Gene. Um, all right. So, as I preach on time and time and time again, you need to have a GFCI, whether if it's a portable or a uh, permanent one, and they both do exactly the same thing. Um, by no means am I a licensed electrician or anything like that. I'm very familiar and very comfortable with electri electrical um, components and so forth just because I've been around it my entire life. There hasn't been, honestly, too much I haven't done. So I built houses from ground up, uh, from the foundation all the way to um, uh, the finished carpentry. And I've done everything from plumbing to electrical, um, even done HVAC. So, I mean, there isn't too much I haven't done from that standpoint. Um, and they are on my website, so I have Army Fish Guy 407. Um, they, um, yeah, I have them on the website, I think, for like 20 bucks, something like that. But you can go uh, either order my line, uh, go to Home Depot, uh, what have you. But I'm going to show you in just a second. If you look at the thumbnail, you actually see the one that I use, <coughs> excuse me, which is the Defender model. And I'll go ahead and grab one here in my inventory so I can show you guys um, a little bit better than what you would see in the thumbnail. So let me go ahead and switch this camera view around so you can see. Um, so that one right there, actually I said Defender, I'm, I apologize, Defiant, Defiant. So a ground fault circuit interrupter, as you can see, a Blue Dream Neo Caradina shrimp tank. You would think if one of these guys fell in to plump right in there just literally seconds before I came on here. Um, guess what? I'm not concerned about it. Guess what? I don't even have shoes on. So what does that mean? Electricity is going to pass through because I'm overall I'm grounded. So I'm the most optimal. If I did not have that installed, I would probably not be here right now. That's how quick your life can change through. Um, it's not so much the voltage. It's a amperage that would basically by a split of a second is going to um, end your life. So with that being said, that's why I'm very comfortable with the fact is I have one of these installed. I've had it happen multiple times, you can see. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I have, uh, it, it's, it's a hodgepodge of a temporary thing right now. So I'm not doing, this is all temporary. So you can see I'm comfortable enough. So I'm telling you, they definitely save your life. And guess what? Did it affect one of my shrimp in here? Not one of them. So they're thriving. That's as quick as it can be. And if I did not have that installed, um, it would have, most likely it would have caused a fire potentially, which I do have just as a backup. I got one of these guys here. You guys can call me nuts, crazy. I don't really care. Um, like I said, I've been around it my entire life. I've been shocked on a number of different occasions, but I'm comfortable enough. And I would not be preaching on something if I didn't think not only it's going to potentially save your life, but also the livestock um, of your fish. Exactly. So you always want to. Um, code requirements with new housing projects and so forth. Like I said, my background is in construction. Um, not only 15 years in retail, but I've also ran a remodeling business before becoming disabled. So I definitely understand, um, in my opinion, the code requirements, of course, in certain ordinances are going to be def uh, different, um, but they should have GFCIs installed um, right at the main breaker is the most ideal. 
rather than at your receptacle, which is usually, um, just pointed out, it's usually near a water source. However, if you look at certain jurisdictions and so forth, because um, I've definitely seen my fair share uh, in the past of different building projects and one of my biggest criticisms that I would see is the fact that there isn't one actually installed at the main panel um, and let alone that they're not even installed appropriately um, at the, uh, the, the, the water source. Um, when I used to run electrical when I was doing remodeling work the way I would do it for people is if you um, again this is kind of taking a little bunny trail here but if you picture yourself in um, your bathroom for instance and you have let's say a ceiling fan you have your light over your uh, vanity your mirror what have you um, the way I would wire them in is typically you would have like your receptacle off to usually the right of the sink could be off to the left but let's say you have your vanity you have your sink uh, you have your mirror and then you have your light and then above that of course uh, somewhere near the shower you would have your um, your uh, vent uh, to discharge um, out outside um, is a way I would run it in that situation it was I would actually run the entire bathroom off from uh, GFCI so what would happen is if I reached up because a lot of times um, if you have a kid or something like that and let's say the ceiling fan um, the exhaust fan is nearby um, not that I would necessarily put it in that direction but I definitely have seen it uh, that way and and if you have a kid or an adult reach up by accident, of course, if they're grounded, they're touching water, what have you, guess what's going to happen? They're going to get electrocuted um, in that instance because it's not a, uh, properly, again, if they're not doing it at the source, which should be right at the panel. Um, but, uh, yeah, with that being said, um, that's the way I would run it. So, ultimately, it would trip the entire bathroom um, rather than potentially and in a life so again i'd rather be proactive rather than reactive and my main focus here was just to show you guys not only did it protect the life uh, but also protected uh, my life and again i've had it happen so first-hand experience uh, fortunately uh, i guess i'll be the go-to and the guinea pig for you guys is it has uh, saved my life and the livestock of my fish on a number of different occasions and you could be asking yourself well jeremy what if that fails I guess then what if I guess I know where I'm going at the end of the day so but uh, yeah let's see here I th thought you used to be a spy Sam said if you're talking to me um I've done a lot of stuff Sam done a lot and I can't disclose everything that I used to do but um, yeah so I heard a lot of tanks yes I'm running on 55 plus tanks currently again this is my life this is what keeps me going of course besides you guys the fish fam here on the wonderful world of YouTube but um, these guys just spawned which is <laughs> pigeon discus right there oh yeah come up here come on I like how I'm talking to them like they're a dog. These guys are the most relaxed discus. I was all up in here yesterday when they were getting their thing on. And I have my hand in here. I mean, I could have been as they're spawning. The most low, <laughs> laid back, low key discus. Didn't care in the world. All the other discus in here didn't care of course this is a sovereign right here these guys are actually being quarantined for ick but um anyway they are getting a lot better um got a placo in there um all the axes just an indicator let me know that i'm going ahead quarantine i got the market geophagus germ blue ram cichlids in here um so just a quick run through i guess i might as well go ahead i got the blue galeris breeding pair in here this is your male i got the female where are you at come on sweetie all right, she's hiding up in there. I'm not going to bother. I uh, got some guppies. Guppies. Beta. Which is actually appropriately pronounced beta, not beta. Um, just moved. I have a uh, bull catfish in here. Um, got some more guppies. 
the Aranda, which is my daughter's. I love the attitude. Love, love, love the. I love that personality that. I gotta get my laser pen. Let me get my laser pen. I don't know if you guys have ever done that or not, but if you want to entertain your fish, get yourself a laser pen. Let me see if I can find it. Oh. All right, that was probably the worst thing I could do is sit down. Uh, I think most of you guys are aware of my permanent nerve damage and rare disease that I have and chronic pain. As soon as you, here it is, as soon as you rest, it's the worst thing you can do is sit down. That's why I gotta keep moving. My entire body will lock up as soon as I sit down. So let me see if I can get her. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> if you wanna entertain your fish, get yourself a laser pen. Get them at the dollar store. This is actually a good technique to use as a diversion too. Um, if you uh, obviously don't put it directly at them, but um, it's perfectly safe, it's fine. You can actually use it as a diversion as well if you're trying to um, distract some fish in order to catch them. If you're trying to draw some of the other fish away, uh, you can utilize it as diversion. Um, I'm not going to go too much in details on these guys. This is a type of uh, light Tanganyikan uh, uh, Shelly. Uh, these guys get larger for shelf. Uh, uh, come on, for Shelly's, and uh, they're absolutely stunning. They are a specimen, and uh, um, actually personally um, obtained through Lawrence Kent, which is out of uh, uh, Washington area. And then, like I said, this is where the light fell in and actually tripped the GFCI, but I got the Blue Dream shrimp in there. Um, I got my turtles in the stock tank right now, three of them. Uh, I got a the Parkinogenic self cloning crayfish in here, um, as well as uh, some of the Clark Eye crayfish, uh, which is actually on the uh, CARES list, so those are prohibited species, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to even uh, really breed or sell those guys anymore. Um, I got uh, some pea puffers in here, so Let's see here, Madagascar barbs, um, I got a couple more Clark Eye crayfish in there, electric orange, um, and electric blue. Uh, I got some endlers in here, some ancestors placos. Uh, I got a couple of sword tails there. Um, I got some lucipennis, I just picked up more of those guys because I'm in the, um, not Lucipennis. I haven't got to that yet, but I do have the Lucipennis too. Um, but uh, this is the uh, Sewellia spotted, uh, species spotted, um, Sewellia reticulated hillstream loach. Um, so I love those guys, and uh, I got a bunch of them. I probably got close to 20 of them um, throughout the fish room, and I already showed you guys these tanks. Uh, Microgeophagus, I got, which I'll show you in just a second, um, rearing some fry um, in a tank. So let's head on over to the other part of the fish room here. Let's see here. So on this tank right here, I do have, it's not gonna show up for you, the greatest, let's see. You can see them there anyways. Those guys are feeding off from their egg sac and I do have um, some microworms in there as well. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, this is a clutch right now of the discus so you'll see a whole video series on how to rear and successfully uh, hatch out discus so um, got but this entire rack here is all neocaridina shrimp I've gone through this rack it gets boring at this point because I've gone through it so many different times um, but anyways, I got yellows up here. I'm just gonna do a quick quick rundown. I got yellows cherries snowballs cherries cherries uh, Snowballs cherries uh, Mystery snail as well as some insistress uh, Over here don't mind the mess. 
Uh, I got a whole group of uh, Corydoras. It's the chocolate or the black Corydoras. Uh, I got some ram's horn snails in here and some guppy fry. Um, got some ancestress in this tank. Uh, let's see. Again, another GFCI. Anywhere I have tanks, GFCI is installed. Um, this 20 long up here, I have some Insistris, more snowballs, electric blue Akara. I'm not going to turn the light on. Um, just fed these guys, uh, so they're eating right now. But Insistris, Insistris, and then uh, you'll have to stay tuned to this. I'm not going to go too much in detail. I'm going to tell you as much that they are shrimp. They are a Neocaridina shrimp, but you're just going to have to stay tuned and wait for that. Got lots of clutches going on of Mr. Snails. Um, got tons of Mr. Snail eggs. These guys are going crazy in here. Bunch of Ancestrous fry. Um, have some Labidochromis juveniles in here. Uh, what else? Let me get the light turned off. There we go. All right, so this tank over here is uh, the Labidochromis. Like I said, um, this is my vlogging. Wonderful camera, camera, camera. Uh, that's my main go-to camera here. But anyway, um, I eventually want to sell all these guys. I'm going to keep... I take that back. I want to sell all these guys when I'm end up keeping uh, right around 20 of them. I'm gonna do a nice aquascape eventually in this tank and keep 20. I absolutely love. They're one of my favorite African cichlids. Uh, of course, I got the plush plecos, um hanging up there. This African cichlid tank. Sorry, the lights are off. I'm not gonna turn them on. South and Central American cichlid tank under there. I have uh, more of uh, cherry shrimp. And then under this tank, um, I have some uh, breeding trio of Ancestris um, Placos uh, chocolate. Um, of course, we got Maya. She thinks that she runs the house. Um, we got Schmitty here. Uh, there's Zola. She's a grump. And then Max. Up there, you can see right here. This is actually a, actually the my old business was uh, JD Custom Remodeling, but uh, it's no longer. I never end up um, renewing my DBA on that, but because uh, obviously I I can't run a business like that anymore. But I did custom custom built-ins for the dogs. Um, oh, what else? Uh, back here, got some guinea pigs, and then I have a salt little saltwater nano set up in there. Um, probably gonna get the copyright strike against me now considering I have music going on in the background. Hopefully not because it's actually a commercial. Uh, so yeah, um, basically the next thing here is gonna be probably doing, I might have to adjust these so I have some aisle way so I can get in between. This was just temporary. Um, they move pretty easily. Um, you can actually just take these guys and just drag them even with all that water. I'm not gonna do that, but um, they do move fairly easily. That's what I like about them. But I'm going to probably end up putting two or three more right here and then leave enough space in between because as I showed you guys before, I'm going to go ahead and end up breaking these setups down. Um, probably last on these because as you can see, my desk used to be over here. We got that moved. And now uh, you can see this is where all the action happens. And then now we can actually get it a better view so when we're doing live streams, you guys, I'm going to clean this glass nice and then hopefully I can adjust the lighting um, to make it work so you guys can actually have something to look at besides uh, my ugly mug. So uh, with that being said, eventually then these whole setups will be getting broken down because we're going to be redoing uh, the laundry room um, and then essentially everything will end up moving in here due to the fact that we're not going to be renovating this area at all um, because this is strictly going to be for storage and then that's the workshop back there um, yes I'm going to show you my nasty wreck of a workshop right now this is a salt water I've shown this before let me turn the radio off before I end up uh, getting a copyright strike against me this is strictly all salt water it's 55 gallon drum uh, that I have on a, uh, a switch so I can 
add salt water so i don't go too much in the salt water because this is more geared around the freshwater channel but yes i do salt water as well um this is actually one of my taxidermy so sorry guys that's not into it i used to be an avid hunter and used to do taxidermy work um uh just on my own so that's actually a black squirrel um this is a uh brown squirrel so that one was called lucky that one was not so lucky uh it's just kind of a joke thing but uh i probably just lost about 15 subscribers for showing you guys that but i don't really care because i enjoy the hunt so definitely miss it have some old hunting gear up there but uh yeah let's see all right so i don't even know um i got more tanks than that in storage but I can't keep adding tanks. I'm just trying to get things. That's why I want to do the stock tanks. Then that way I can do, um, just make it easier. So eventually this whole wall essentially just end up being tanks. I definitely like it better this way. These were not even designed. I threw these together in a couple hours when we first moved in 12 plus years ago into this home. Um, I just threw this rack together because it held, uh, I had it designed to hold 18, 20 gallon totes, but um, it actually worked out perfect to uh, go ahead and hold all the tanks. So eventually these will come down and I can put uh, more tens up there. Um, this right here is a sneak peek. So anybody that's in the canister build off, um, I built mine like 10 minutes. So that's as simple as it is. Um, it's actually running right here. So mine was done a long time ago i'm not obviously going to include myself in the the contest i don't even know how many people are even doing the contest uh, a couple of people have actually backed out of it um so i mentioned it plenty plenty of times so that's why you guys got to make sure you follow the channel um and anybody that's just chiming in and not sure what i'm talking about you're gonna have to go back in my reptor videos and find out what i'm talking about so I'm going to do a little contest, and that does end the end of this month. So I'll make sure you guys check it out. Um, these are some just aquatic palm plants here, um, which I like real well. Um, hopefully this week I'm going to actually pick up some more. So I wanted to test it out indoors, and they're doing just fine. This one's actually bouncing back. Uh, I got some water lettuce. So, yep. Oh, so microworm cultures here. I've already went over all that. If you guys want something easy, um, I have another culture going. Um, I'm going to show you something really nasty. Then I'm going to show you that they still thrive. That's absolutely disgusting. That's not at all how you want it to look. So I have to. Woo, dog. Yeah, I can smell that one. Woo. Yeah, you don't want that. Don't get lazy. That's what happens. What you want them to look like is that. That looks good. That looks delightful. Tasty. That's how you want it to look. You don't want it to look... I'm not even going to open that one again. That one's nasty. But there is still a billion microworms in this culture that are thriving. So they can really handle... Just don't let them dry out. And I think I have video that I still need to edit and so forth. Um, but there's so much video out there on the internet that goes over microworms. They are honestly the easiest thing. If you know how to put one shoe on <laughs> one foot and the shoe on another foot, you can handle doing microworm culture. So I'll just leave it at that. They're honestly the easiest thing um, on the planet. They're as easy as breeding guppies. So, Maya, what are you doing? What are you doing? What you doing, huh? Look at that. You can be my thumbnail, baby. You can be the thumbnail? Huh? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's get over here. Whoa! Knocking stuff over. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna flip me around. Bear with me. Yes, I'm wearing the Smile More shirt. By far my favorite YouTuber. Um, let's see here. 
Hold on. I'm going to pull up chat from uh, the PC. Here, I'll show you guys. I actually do work besides live streams. So there's another video right there. I'm not going to show you any more than that, but that one I just edited. So I want to say that's video number eight. So yes, um, I've been working on editing. So hey, well, looky there! I don't have a thumbs down yet. Awesome. I think probably after I just said that, I'm probably going to be in the thumbs down, but that's fine. Let's see what we got going on here. Landon, my nephew Landon. How are you doing, Landon? Sorry, I haven't been touching the chat. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's do a few shout-outs here. I'm going to wrap this up. Um... I'm not even sure we've been going on about 32 minutes now. It's showing I got a poor connection, which makes absolutely no sense at all because now I'm literally over top of the router. So I like how I can pick up signal fine uh, with a bunch of interference from the fish rooms, and I it makes no sense at all. Uh, let's see here. All right. <clears throat> Sam was wondering if you should get a GFCI. Yes, yeah, Sam. Absolutely. Everybody should get one. Everybody. Ruru 2. No. Surge protector is not a GFCI. Not at all. It's two completely different things. Two, two completely different things. A GFCI is exactly what it stands for. Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. Leland, hello. Alright, I love Quebec. Do you worry about fish uh, tuberculosis? Uh, w is wondering, I'm thinking that's what you mean by TB. I heard it can be nasty. Um, no. Uh, Joel said, for those of us not watching and barely listening, what's GFCI? Well, I hope that you guys are watching. I hope you guys are listening. So, if you guys don't watch and you're not listening, then there's no point in me doing videos. Because I don't want to talk to myself. But, again, I have already mentioned that. A GFCI, GFCI is a ground fault circuit interrupter. Um, let's see. And if it's lagging... Sorry. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to... <laughs> somebody wants to uh, fork out, um, spend like 120 bucks a month on the internet, then feel free. I'll, I'll get you guys all the bells and whistles that you want. So... Uh, Brew 2, I'm in Michigan. Landon wants to come over. We will have you over, buddy. For sure. We need to have you over. Uh, Gene said, fish tuberculosis. What is that? Does he even... Sure. Um, no, I don't worry about it. I'm comfortable enough, I'll put it this way, if I ever uh, ingested, I guess you would say, any of my tank water, I wouldn't be concerned um, about... Uh, about getting sick so I've been around honestly I mean I've had way worse <laughs> try doing uh, concrete work let's just put it that way if you're worried about issues um, if you're talking them from an uh, acid point of view if you're getting concrete and stuff on your hands or other chemicals or so forth I think just through the years my body has withstood some pretty um, uh, 
vigorous uh, components and chemicals and so forth. Uh, looks like Fishner says smooth sailing from my point of view. Awesome, Go glad to hear. Uh, let's see here. There we go. We got two thumbs down. Thank you, people. Give it a smash the thumbs up or smash the thumbs down. It does not matter to me either way. I will not lose sleep over it. I promise you that. The Fish Life said I only need one more sub. I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm back down to 9.99. Yeah, I know, Sam. I've gone from 115 to 108 to 9.98 to 9.97 to 9.96. Back up to 1,003. Back up to 1,012. Back down to 1,010 to 1,006 to 1,007. And now back down to 9.99. So I know why that is. That is because I'm doing live streams. So every time I do a live stream, um, that just goes to show you guys I'm not worried about numbers. I'm more worried about the interaction that I have with you guys than worrying about numbers. So I hope you guys can respect and appreciate that. Um, when the fish fam comes to me and wants me to be doing live streams, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, so at the end of the day, if I lose subscribers over that for whatever reason, that's just life and I really honestly don't care. So that's my focus on starting YouTube is not about the numbers, it's about the interaction with you guys trying to inspire and trying to get other folks into the hobby because I really think it's one of the best therapeutic means, better than any therapy dog that I think you could honestly ever imagine. Um, and that's just my opinion because I absolutely love aquariums and I love the fish fan. Um, so yeah. Spicy said, wait, you're back to doing live streams. I never stopped doing live streams, Spicy. You perceived it that way. Way! Hey, we lost the thumbs down. We're back down to one thumbs down. Oh, Spicy said, okay, I'll resub. That's all right, Spicy. You're going to be sporting my swag anyways up there in Canada. Spicy's just a big teddy bear. Spicy is a big teddy bear. I'll send you some chocolates and roses, Spicy, if that would cheer you up. Football is boring. Watch movies instead. I cannot stand foosball. I don't know what football you're talking about. If you're talking about, like, football, like soccer, or if you're talking, like, I know in the UK, you know, uh, must keep you real laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, I know, Spicy. I'll send you some flowers and roses, buddy. That'll cheer you up. I don't really watch movies or football, yeah. No, I had every teacher and coach back in my high school days that wanted me to do football and uh, just never had an interest in it. Never. Uh, Spice said that you'll take them. Okay. Glad to hear. No way dogs are so much better than fish. Uh, they, I do love dogs, Ruber, too. But I would not say that they're more therapeutic than fish. So, I would say it's an equal balance for me. It's different. There's a different, it's a different, it's a different thing. It's just complete, that's apples and oranges. That's a whole nother topic. Alright, let me fix this. There we go. Put you guys up on the on the wall so you can stop staring up my nose uh, no I can stare at the tanks for hours on end exactly tanks don't talk back to you dogs get whiny and needy dogs are pets fish are a hobby fish are pets too I look at every one of my fish as pets Oh, let's see here. Uh, fish are pets, dogs are family. Yeah. Cruz is in the house. How you doing, Cruz? Uh, I can't hug a fish or sleep with it. I hug my fish. Why aren't you giving him a hug? I don't know if you're going to want to sleep with him, but suppose. 
I consider my fish to be water dogs. Yeah. The fish fam is family. <laughs> yeah, I concur. <laughs> Ruru two set or pick up girls with it when I take it out for walks. There you go. Alright, where are we at? We're almost going on 45 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up at that. Five more minutes, I'm wrapping it up. Calling it quits. Well, you know what I mean, not calling. Yeah. My oxalatos are called water dogs sometimes. Hashtag hog dog fish tanks. And for the record, I never said I wasn't a teddy bear. I know you never said that you weren't a teddy bear. Spicy, I know that you're a teddy bear. I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that you're a teddy bear. KP Aquarium's in the house. How you doing? Just want to stop by, Jeremy. What's up, brother? Not too much, man. Just keep on keeping on. Tony said, laugh out loud. Sarge lost it. Just trying to. Just trying to make you guys smile. Smile more. Alright. Uh, the dog isn't allowed in my bed anymore than my fish. Laugh out loud. Fur and all that. Yeah. I don't let dogs in the bed. Uh, yeah, just have Murphy in the bag. Laugh out loud. That would be a big bag. Mission accomplished. I'm laughing up a storm over here. <laughs> I'm glad I can make you laugh. Alright, Ruru 2 is peacing out. Have a great night, Ruru 2. I love that saying. I'll say it all the time. Now keep it on, keep it on. Then, gotta. You better keep on, keep it on. Girls love teddy bears. Yeah, they do. Where's my teddy bear? Hold on, we got a teddy bear. All right, who does this remind you of? Who has a teddy bear on their live stream? Who keeps a teddy bear on their live stream? Besides Spicy, no. Does Bracken have one on his live stream? I don't think so. Maybe. That concludes this day. Good night all. Have a great night, Jason. Appreciate you very much as always stopping by, man. Same here. Uh, get some sleep for work. Alright, thank you, Army Fish Guy. Uh, Alright, so nobody can guess who has a teddy bear on their live stream. It's a creepy monkey thing or something. Actually, I did once. That's funny, Sam. All right, I'll give you a hint. This individual will pop in every once in a while, and they've been busy. Maybe with college. Maybe. If that doesn't give it away, I don't know what the fish fam is doing. Y'all aren't paying attention, apparently, then, because, yeah. The fish nerd said Charles. That's right. Shaz. There you go. See, Jason was going to leave, and then he knew as soon as I said that. Yes. Yeah. Proud of you guys. All right. I, I'm not hooked up. This works every single time, and I cannot end a live stream without ushering somebody in. So I'm summoning sashimi whiskey right now. Dude, you cannot hold it against me because I don't have my mixer hooked up because I'm streaming from my phone. So I can't give you the reverb this time. 
but uh, let's just pretend that I'm doing reverb right now. So sashimi whiskey is in the background. Give me a thumbs up, brother, because you know I cannot end the live stream without you popping in here. It works every time. Don't fail me now. Making sure that you're listening. Don't fail me now. Tick tock, you're on the clock. Oh man, he's not listening. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Uh oh. Says I'm disconnected. Wait. What's going on? Refreshing. Let's see here. No. All right, bear with me, you guys. Hopefully, I'm still on. Hmm. Oh, that's not cool at all. Oh. I'm here. Hopefully, I didn't lose you. My computer is uh, going haywire. This is not cool. All right. Hmm. Loophole. Who's I'm still here. Hopefully you guys are. Sorry. Come on. Ah, this other computer isn't wanting to cooperate. Best internet in the world. Hmm. Well, you guys, uh, there's not too much I can do. I can't see chat, so much love to you guys. I appreciate it very much. Um, it's not pulling chat up on my phone or on either one of my computers, so I'm going to have to reset my router, but... Make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, we'll have a topic for you guys uh, coming up tomorrow, uh, which is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I should be there. Hopefully I see you guys there. Um, hopefully you pick something out of this live stream. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to get a little laugh out of it here and there too. So try not to make everything so serious. Definitely make sure you guys make it a wonderful week. And hopefully we'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then a Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and all topics for you uh, coming up as well. So, as always, stay encouraged. Keep on keeping on. Happy fishing. Much love. We'll talk to you guys soon.